Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27881. This build has a lot of new features and improvements, but they are not new features. The Canary channel is still trying to get some of the latest versions from the dev and the beta channel. So of course, I'm not sure when we will see some new features specific to the Canary channel, but we cannot do anything about it. Of course, this build also has ISOs. You can find ISOs in the official Microsoft blog post if you want to get them. And in this video, of course, we're going to Cover everything that is new. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in voice access, Microsoft is adding the filter profanity feature, which you can enable really easily. And also related to narrator, Microsoft is adding speech recap in narrator. So of course, you can check out these new features if you have this latest build for the Canary channel and open up the voice access and the narrator app. Microsoft is also announcing that the new expiration date for these builds in the Canary channel is the 8th of September 2026. So of course, make sure you are up to date in these builds. And also related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft is also adding the new red pill for the apps that require attention and improvements for the accessibility flyout inside the big settings menu. Basically, they are categorizing all of these features inside the accessibility flyout. Microsoft is also adding improved support for web search providers in the Windows search for the European economic area, including with increased discoverability. And in addition to Windows Windows share, if you try to share a file, for example, we're going to notice some new features, for example, the edit feature that allows you to edit a photo before sending it, and also the compress feature, which allows you to compress an image to low, medium, high, or leave it as original. Also in the context menu, if you go to share with, with a local file, Microsoft will add here certain apps that support sharing in Windows, and you right click on these apps. So I think this is also a nice addition. Related to the settings app, Microsoft is adding the new frequently asked questions inside system, and then in the about section, we're going to see see all these questions here and they have also updated the dialogue for renaming your printer so if I were to go to printers and scanners select a printer then go to additional printer settings and rename your printer you're gonna notice that this design has been rebranded so now it matches the Windows 11 design principles related to input Microsoft is trying out a small change to the design of the touch visual when dragging your finger on the screen as part of some underlying work on rendering the new design looks like animating bubbles if you have a touch PC you can try this out also another change when running the PNP util slash enum drivers command, Microsoft is adding a new field that enumerates driver package catalog attributes, indicating the driver type and if the driver is attestation signed. Also related to the snipping tool app, Microsoft is adding a highly requested feature and that is the GIF export. So now if you record a video using snipping tool, you're going to have the option to create a GIF and this will also allow you to change the quality and see some info about it, how long it is, the resolution, the frames, and so on. And it also allows you to quickly copy it and you can just paste it wherever you need. There are also a lot of fixes for this build. Some general fixes fixed an issue for insiders on the previous build, causing some of the text in Windows to not be using the correct characters, causing nonsense to display in places like Task Manager and more. This impacted characters outside of AZ, including Chinese and accented characters in German and Polish. And also they fixed an issue where booting into safe mode wasn't working with a message saying something happened and your pin isn't available for some people. Related to File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where File Explorer would crash when tapping the view button with touch. Also related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing start menu to crash on launch for some insiders in the last few flights. Related to task manager, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which was causing keyboard focus to get set to widgets in the taskbar on login, which could make widgets unexpectedly invoked. And they also fixed an issue which could cause the media controls in the preview windows for apps in the taskbar that supported the flicker. And they also fixed an issue where when using tab and shift less tab to move keyboard focus around the taskbar, if you went backwards at least once, you could get keyboard focus stuck on the taskbar frame, leading some screen readers to just say pain. They also fixed an issue where Win Plus Control Plus wasn't working to cycle between windows of open apps for that position on the taskbar. Related to input, they fixed an issue where typing Japanese with the touch keyboard might stop working after switching to typing with an English keyboard and back. Fixed an issue where voice typing wouldn't start from the touch keyboard when using the Chinese narrow layout. And they also fixed an issue where when using the symbol section of the touch keyboard, pressing the key to change pages might unexpectedly insert a character into password fields. Related to settings, Microsoft fixed an issue where you could and switch active hours from manually to automatic in Windows Update. And they also adjusted the location of the intensity and color boost sliders under settings, accessibility, and then color filters. Now the color previews at the top of the page are visible while adjusting the sliders. Related to voice access, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing voice access crashes when using Spanish. And some two other fixes fixed an issue where if you clean install Windows using the installation media, it would unexpectedly generate an empty Windows.all folder when you were done. And they also made another fix for insiders unexpectedly seeing administrative templates 
error message when opening the group policy editor. We also have two new known issues, for example, in settings, system, and then recovery. The reset this PC option won't work after upgrading to this build. And also related to settings, Microsoft is investigating an issue in this build, which may cause settings to crash and opening microphone properties under settings, system, and then sound. So these are basically the new features, fixes, and changes in the latest Canary build. Also, don't forget to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post for more information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.